This is a cool planet. Those guys suck, but this is a cool planet. It's also the planet where I probably stand my first real chance of legitimately dying and losing all my cool, awesome treasures. And no way am I going to attempt to actually grab everything. This area, this planet has real problems with uh, enemy spawning. Uh, we haven't really run into anything too terribly hardcore yet. Those turtles on the rockets are pretty huge. More rapid fires, oh my god, as if we really needed them. Let's see, if I jump down here, I'm sure I'll take a hit from the spike ball things. These guys are really rough to deal with. They have not the greatest uh, spawning points, and everything kills them. You have to shoot the same amount of bullets of everything killed. That's one thing I like about this game. No missile is really more powerful than one or the other, but, I mean, they just have different functions, basically. And, oh, great. This thing. These things are kind of the bane of my existence, and I am definitely going to take this. It's definitely something we want to use to the fullest advantage here. Although, I see no enemies, so I'd better get moving away from it. Those things have real spawn problems. The, they're cool in theory, but I don't really like the rolling spring that much. I probably should have saved some of those and not gotten them all at once. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea either to just have my gun going full stop all times. But yeah, this is a really neat planet. Cool song. Cool design despite the uh, hot pink. It actually amazingly holds up to me. This is a pretty simple little maze type area. It's not anything to get too excited about in terms of difficulty. The real enemies we want to watch out for are the turtle tanks. They have a tendency to really get in your face and really mess you up. And you kind of want to keep a wall of bullets going at all times in this area because they usually line up the uh, they usually line up the spike ball guys in columns. And those spike balls are awful. You see they have you may have seen that they have one spike that points down. That usually, as far as a spawn point goes, see there he is. There's that's one of that was a turtle carrot. They shoot these carrot missiles that hurt you. Ironic, I suppose. But they can often get you from often the off in the distance before you even see them, and they are really annoying. And that's why we might end up really biting the dust here. And I just picked up some TNT, which. Uh, is often found in very limited quantities because you can kill everyone on the screen at once with it. You might find it in like groupings of four or so. We'll get a lot more of them in the uh, secret level that's going to be featured here today. That's a pretty good hypothesis to go with. If you have trouble finding secret levels, we're gonna find the uh, we're gonna find this particular one at the end of the second level, which is a good place to check for them in general. It's kind of a it's kind of a very simple, simple place to look, but it often pans out for you. In fact, it just pans out to look at the end of the level in general. First or second, no matter what planet you're on, if you're having trouble finding them. Because, I just say second level, second end of the second level of the second planet, because that's kind of generic. But it actually does, I think, pan out more than once. And holy crap, where did he come from? That wasn't a very big spawning space at all. Okay, I'm going to go down and get some goodies first. Hopefully there is a carrot to be found among them. Okay, guns are cool and all, but I need energy if I'm going to deal with these little tank guys down here. You see how frequently they shoot. And they can be seen, or they can be registered by the game from off screen. So that's why it's good to have bullets going at all times like I just did. Imagine if I had not been shooting there. I'd have probably been in quite a load of trouble. Ooh, I missed some... I missed some toasty toasters up there. Big ones. I may not have explained the uh, amount of ammunition you get for... For all this yet, actually. The big orbs that... <coughs> excuse me, I was kind of losing my voice there for a second. The big orbs that you have to shoot are worth 15 bullets apiece. And the little teeny tiny orbs that you collect like trinkets... Floppy disks in there all by itself. Another one. The little orbs that you collect like any other trinket, they are worth, I believe... Should I really press my luck here? Let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys, actually. I can just shoot rapid-fire launchers down into the pit. Yeah, alright. That, that actually worked out really well. But yeah, they're worth... These little orbs are worth two apiece. And I want to get up into, I think up here. There we go. 
No turning. Shit. See? See? Those guys are just the worst. And they are probably, they probably represent my only real chance of getting killed around here. So I'm going to do my best to have my gun going at all times. And even when you just try to sneak up on them, they generally get you pretty good. I think I'm heading toward the end of the level, actually. See? Yeah, now here I am sitting here dying. I need to find a carrot now. There's some more TNT up in the air, but... See? Oh, those things always respawn in the same place every time, so you have to really know where you want to jump if you're going to deal with one of those things. Although I don't know why I'm going around trying to collect goodies, because I'm about dead. Maybe it's a carrot that I'm really looking for. I have a feeling this is going to be a jump into death. No, it's pretty much a jump back to where I came from earlier. Really interested in finding a carrot right now. Okay. No, don't tell me to go that way. That way lies death, or at least a few more enemies. Wow, that was a kind of interesting dead end. It's like they wanted to put something over here. Make the level a little bigger, I suppose, but... Looks like one of those things that just kind of got lost in development, particularly because of that voided black area up there. Just an area of black nothingness. You'll see those occasionally in this game, and they're kind of unsettling, but... Alright, let's go up and, I guess, face our death like a man? Let's see what's down the way here. What's down here? I didn't want to just jump blind into this pit, although it looks like I have no choice, really. Okay, just more weapons. Just checking. And if I go d Oh, thank God. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Okay, good. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better now. Yeah, here's a tank man. There we go. Oh, he's just kind of off by himself. Wow, I would have asked for like a... I think I would have asked for a better killing assignment. Can I see down into the pit to actually see if I'm going to get marauded by a turtle rocket here? Okay, I think I might actually survive this level then. Thank goodness. Wow, that was a scary prospect there for a second. Tegnor has much longer levels, if you haven't noticed, than Letney from the other day. Oh, hey, I missed an item. It's up there. I didn't mean to shoot so much. I missed the fire shield, which is worth a whopping... Well, it may have just been a regular shield, but there's also a fire shield variant that is worth four hits and is would be very valuable to us. Not so much in our current situation, but man, that would give me four more hits, and that would really be helpful. Not interested in getting all of these, but... Man, I really... That is really the pits that I missed that thing. That really upsets me. Aw, oh, man, I'm going to be dwelling on that now. A lot more enemies in this level, though. we got to be way more on the lookout. we got to be really careful right here, especially, because I think the uh, hitbox is not the kindest right here. We'll just launch some uh, Dr. Mario pills down there into that little mess. That little rigmarole. And I missed a... Uh, I kind of sort of intentionally, but not really, missed a secret right here earlier. Nice, yeah, a bunch of rapid fire missiles. Maybe I should have those going at full tilt. Didn't think he would be right there. I didn't realize there was another guy spawning at that point. So there goes my hip hop bye bye. How many rapid fires do I have? Hundreds? Several hundreds? Yeah, 400. Oh, yeah. I think these are definitely worth using right now, just to kind of show off our artillery. Especially if I got a line of spike balls coming at me, which it looks like I do. Nice, they make a little bit of a different sound than your uh, normal blaster. Not as abrasive. As what? How did he even spawn from up there? Didn't see him ever in the first place. Okay, this is enough jumping around. Enough fooling around with little dinky weapons. God, they're just everywhere. You can't... It's a good thing they put the checkpoint right there because you're not safe anywhere around here. You've got to be really careful where you decide to jump. Now, of course, we've got these little spring things that are really going to mess with my chi. My chi, why did I even say that? I'm just ready to get to the secret level. I'm already I'm already feeling harrowed enough by the enemies here. They are they're really giving me what for. And I'm not sure which way I really want to go here. What would be the most profitable way for our purposes? 
please no rocket turtles raining down on me. That'd be wonderful, excellent, mega great. Hey, turtle tank that I managed to get the jump on. That makes me... Ah, you have got to be kidding. Well, maybe we can now make this work. You, first of all, go away. Okay, I think they're actually hitting someone up there. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm wasting... I, in fact, have almost no launchers left. Whoa, that was a great assault there. Oh, I can't believe I made that raid. And I get a shield as a result. That's mostly what I was going for. Although I don't know why I was about to potentially take two hits. Just so I could have a free one. That would have actually been kind of stupid. And I'm not too worried about those TNTs down there or anything. Particular, particularly, la la la, because there are probably tanks guarding all this crap. Oh, hey. This is, uh, this part seems hard, but it's actually kind of easy. There are multiple of these spiked ball walls coming at us. Really, the, uh, the bottom three are the only ones that you need to worry about clearing out. The top two are just kind of icing on the cake. And, all right. Another generally pretty safe part. Not too worried about bonus rooms or anything like that. Because I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting gracefully for the end of the level. Hoping not to die in some horrific turtle tank accident. Yeah, there goes my shield because those things are terrible at spawning correctly. I really don't want to complain about this game, it's really fantastic, and I'm going to be doing some major complaining on the next planet. Some of you who have played the game before, particularly the CD edition, probably know why, but let's go ahead and look up and make sure nothing is spawning down on top of me. Okay, nothing so far. Usually a lot of those turtle rockets end up raining down on you for what reason, I don't know. I thought I would shoot through the wall there, but just a little invisible whoop whoop. Under and out. Alright, let's make the jump. I think that was pretty useless because we're actually at the end of the level. And now, instead of just jumping up and shooting the sign, we go under here. And it's time for secret level number two. This is a fun one. This is We're going to get our first look at an item. Let's see, here we go. The springy shoes that increase the height of our jump. I don't know if those have a 10 maximum the way the... Uh, the way the what's its faces do, but... Let's get a big old curvy jump there and get all of our rapid fires. And uh, more kill robots. That's awesome. Let's see, more of those uh, one must fall guys. Looks like my phone is going off. Give me just a second here. We got time. It's a secret level after all. Alright, well, that's that and a hat's a hat. So let's actually test out this jumping thing some little, some little bit more get to some areas we couldn't otherwise normally access with our mega air jump. Makes sense, you know, being a rabbit and all. I think we're actually going forward through the level, which I don't want to do just yet. There is a, uh, there is some way to get this down here. There's this one up down here. Kind of, a uh, crafty to get. I think it might require the use of launchers. We st yeah, we still have some left. Okay, is it not on this side, or is it, am I just hitting it and not... There we go. Okay, yeah. Okay, so where's the, uh... Where's the other... There we go. Go underneath and get that little one-up. I don't think the one-up has any bearing on whether you get 100% of the... On the item bonus or not, but... But it couldn't hurt to get it anyway, because look at that. We got eight whole lives now. We're going to be moving on to a place where we might certainly need them, actually for a little bit, and more TNT. Even though I'm not really want to use those TNTs, I like to get them anyway. I like to have them around. Because you never know when I might be feeling just really like killing everything on screen all at once. I don't think I'll ever get that stressed out on easy mode. Man, even Hip Hop's having trouble keeping up with me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the dangling man. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I think I'm about to lose it, though. Yep, there it goes. Bye-bye, shoe. We did as much of that as we could. I like his running animation. It looks a lot more cartoony than Sonic's. I mean, 
just for purposes of comparison, what else are you going to compare this game to? I, I think he's a lot more of a rabbit than Mario. And we get ourselves a shield, which is just great because that's the end of the level and that's the end of the uh, Tech Noir action. So tune in next time. We're going to be doing The Last Planet, which is particularly a bear on the CD version because of some really nasty, stupid crap. See you guys next time.